There's been no sign of the turtles for days, or the rats. We'll keep looking. In the meantime, we grow more powerful. We tighten our grip on this city more and more with each passing day. We have more men, more resources, more brute force than ever before. Of course we've had some casualties, but this is inevitable in war. Everyone dies sometime. Well, most everyone. We're done. Why are you still here, Kitsune? Every time someone alludes to your unique history, you... I don't have time for this. ...end the conversation. I've tried to learn why, but you won't talk about it. As is my choice. And before, it was a harmless choice. But now your power has grown. This secret, it weakens you. All those centuries ago, before my death, you said I would be resurrected, bonded to the same body. But you never told me where my spirit would go. Because I didn't know. So tell me, Orokusaki, where did you go? Where everyone goes when their mortal journey draws to a close. I was just there a bit early. For you. This... this is... what am I doing here? That's the big question, isn't it? This place is for the dead. Everyone else here is a permanent resident, but not you. You're just passing through, in between life and death. That's why I'm here to warn you. Do not disturb the natural order of this place. Let those who live here try to find some measure of peace, otherwise your life will be truly extinguished. Forever. No more resurrections, no more cheating death! You think you can take my soul? Oh no, that's not how it works. We can't take your soul. But you can give it to us! The child's warning gave me no pause. This was just another realm to conquer. So I set off, moving even closer to the distant fortress. If this place had a leader, I knew I would find him there. I walked for days through a landscape filled with restless souls. Like shadows on the wall. No purpose, no meaning, no power over their own destiny. I realized they were mere reflections of their former selves. It's a horrifying fate. One that awaits every man and woman on this earth. I vowed it would not be mine. During my journey, I came across restless soldiers who had banded together in the afterlife. They were not my enemy, so I gave them a wide berth. Until I surveyed the fortress from up close, it was defended heavily, guards on every side. I would need a distraction, one that would allow me to slip through their ranks. So I returned to the warrior band, believing that I could appeal to their thirst for glory by telling them of the great victory that awaited. They fell upon me immediately, as I knew they would. Most warriors follow a certain path, and each path has its own weaknesses. Discover the weaknesses, strike fast, and you can prevail. Some fight low to the ground, exposing the face to an easy attack. Some only work in close quarters, allowing their opponent to simply step back and strike. Some are formalists, too accustomed to rules and regulations, easily surprised. Still, most warriors will adapt. Give them enough time and they will change tactics as the battle demands. But 
These warriors did not. They fought mindlessly. Their only advantages were sheer numbers and pure ferocity. I felt my ribs crack. I felt the air leave my lungs. But I set aside the pain. The battle was not yet over. When I saw all those warriors rain down from above, I knew that I must change my plans. I would not gain their respect by fighting back. A call to victory would fall on deaf ears. They may have been warriors in life, but in death, they were just like every other restless soul, going through the motions, acting out the roles they had played in life. They had no desire to conquer, no thirst for victory, no leaders, no tactics, no plan. They wanted one thing, to fight mindlessly, endlessly. Enough! You can fight me, maybe even defeat me. And then, it will be over and you'll be left where I found you. With no enemy, with no battle. Or you can follow me and battle an army. When I arrived here, they told me that this was a place of peace. Do you feel peaceful? You are warriors, you are made to fight. So follow me into battle. I can't guarantee victory, but I can guarantee you this. There will be no rest. There will be no wretched peace. I had to take advantage of my warrior's zeal to let them serve as a distraction while I slipped through the ranks and made my way to the castle. There was no time to analyze these demons' fighting style or determine their weaknesses. But when in doubt, <laughs> aim for the eyes. Once I was inside, the path was clear. The restless army had drawn all of the demon guards outside. I was so close. Soon, I would conquer. Soon I would rule. I was so certain of this, that victory was within reach. When their king rose, he did so slowly, unsteadily. <laughs> Make no mistake, he was a skilled combatant and strong as an ox. But his armor was bulky and his breathing was heavy. He was an old man, a once proud warrior now past his prime, so I let him wear himself out, certain that I could keep him down. Uh, certain? So certain I would defeat you? Uh, that I would rule forever? And now? Do it! <laughs> Here's your king! I won, as I knew I would. The very notion that I could be defeated was laughable. And then, I saw the face of my enemy. It was me. Thank you! How? 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 Oh, Saki. Did you actually think you were special? That you could cheat death forever? Let me tell you what your future holds. You will lead armies. You will conquer the world and then destroy it. You will wipe away humanity, build a new world ruled by barbarian hordes and mutated freaks, and then you will die as all men do, no matter how powerful they think they are. And yes, yes, Orukuzaki, you will conquer the afterlife. But time does not travel in a straight line. Not here! And so someday, 
today you will encounter the one person whose thirst for power equals your own, and the one person who can end your rule and condemn you to an eternity spent wandering restless, trapped. That's how. And you know the rest. Karai resurrected me. At first I remembered none of this, but slowly it came back to me, piece by piece, all of it. So yes, the city is mine, but what's a city compared to eternity? Saki, you have a powerful mind. This was most certainly just a dream, a lesson you were teaching yourself. It's a lesson you should take to heart, but not one that should overshadow your life. Perhaps you are right. Thank you for your counsel. Of course. I am always here for you. I haven't told her the whole story. I haven't said that it wasn't just a long sleep. It's every sleep. Every night. Every day. Sometimes just when I close my eyes. I see him. He's there, always, a constant reminder of what awaits. No, what could await. The demons made a mistake in telling me what's to come. Now that I know what's coming, I'll do it right. I'll become stronger, more powerful. And when the time comes, I will conquer. I will gut my younger self like a fish. I will tear him limb from limb. I will burn him down and spread his ashes across my kingdom. I will conquer, as I always do.